All right, well today I'm going to do some undercoating on this 2012 Volkswagen Golf TDI station wagon. I've removed the rear uh, wheels and inside those rear wheel wells there's a sort of a, I don't know, sort of a rubber mat I suppose. That's the inner fender or inner wheel well. So I'm going to take that out and I'm going to use uh, this stuff. Now, I don't know, I got it at my local auto parts place and the stuff on the left, the green stuff, is for the wheel wells and stuff like that and under undercarriage and the stuff on the right is for inside things like inside the, I don't know, the rear trunk lid or the uh, uh, inside the rocker, pan or, uh, rocker panels or stuff like that. Anyways, so that's what I'm doing. Oh, and you use this kind of a gun um, to operate those. Alright, well it's been dry for quite some time. Probably a, a week or two, week and a half at least. And so it's very, very dry. Um, there will be no moisture in under here. Uh, so, I'm going to blow it out with air once I get going here. But I've started. Um, one thing that you should keep track of is all the little screws. And Volkswagen seems to like to use two different size um, Torx bits. And so make sure you've got lots of Torx bits. And for this little piece right here, there are a couple of screws right under here that I will take out. Okay, so I think I've got all the screws out. You'll probably see gravel and rocks and stuff coming out from in behind these things because crap gets in behind them. So that just takes some screwing around to get that out of there. Um, you can see there's some gravel and stuff like that that gets in behind there. So I'm going to just brush all that stuff out of that. Gravel and rocks and crap. Now I'll take an air uh, hose. And I'm going to clean that all up as best I can before I spray it. That is the wheel well. And on closer inspection, it looks as if uh, they did okay at the factory when they did some of the undercoating anyways. Um, and my evidence for that is these plugs, these plastic plugs, you can see that there's goo that's draining down from this one. And I don't know if you can see that, it's quite a soft and, and waxy. And so that's the, it appears as if they did unplug those and put wax, you know, rust preventive stuff in behind there. And so that's good. I'm happy with that. I am going to take some of those plugs out. Um, I'm going to try and get in behind these plastic bits like that, uh, I don't know, uh, air or fuel filler uh, nozzle and stuff like that. And... I'll take some of these, so I'm looking up inside, this is right here, so there's the, that is a, a rust spot right there. And so this is an, a fairly new car, it's 2012, it's, and now it's the middle of the summer in 2013. I'm going to take out some of these plugs, particularly that one, and just use your fingers, don't get too crazy. Um, I don't want to scratch up the metal, because now there's a hole there, and I'll, I'll dump some, uh, rust preventative stuff in there. And so, yeah, I'm not going to drill any holes and I want to expose any bare metal that I don't have to. And then later I'll do with the underneath. I'll take out some of these plastic panels underneath and go crazy in there. Alright. Careful not to get it on the brakes, of course. Um, and keep a piece of paper towel handy. You do want to get some in there, but don't get too carried away. So, i just sort of hold it up against that hole. And to prevent any drips. Like that. Now, the reason why you don't want to get too carried away with spraying goops of it in there is that really you just want it to act, want it to act as if it's water. So you want it to flow to its lowest point. But if you get it on too many surfaces, then when it does... Uh, get wet in there, you want it to dry out. And so make sure you don't plug up any holes that uh, are really drain holes. 
so careful about that. So the red stuff is for the, uh, and it's colored red as well, is for the interior um, holes like that in the rocker panel. And the green stuff, and you just switch guns, um, is for the, the main parts. So I'm just doing the interior holes right now. All right, so this wheel well is done. Um, I'm going to make sure to replace the uh, plugs that I removed. And I was very careful in here. And I got all that stuff done. I got inside the wheels done as well. Inside the, uh, on the inner side, I don't know if you can see that or not, but on the, like, got right up inside here and did all the whole thing. Okay, so I didn't think I had to do the front uh, uh, fenders, but I tried a magnet on them, and yep, they are steel. So I took out the uh, shrouds. That's the inner wheel well shrouds. And then when I look up inside, I see that, wait, there's this foamy stuff. It's sort of a rubber. Anyways, and you just sort of pull that out. And in behind, there's a plastic shroud, and so I unbolted that. And there you can see there's all kinds of tin up in there you should undercoat. So I'm going to go nuts in here undercoating. Okay, well, I'm just going to take uh, these things down. And I bet you there's going to be a lot of gravel come. I'm going to back these off. Last one. Let's see what comes down. Whoops. Not as much gravel as I thought. Anyways, I'm going to uh, spray all in underneath there after I clean it all out first. Alright, so it's uh, far better done than I had thought it would be. Um, up in under here. So in places like this, um, unibody frame rail, they had sprayed in under there really well. It's right from the factory, so I'm quite pleased with that. I'm going to continue on in there as well. And I'm going to do this because that doesn't isn't done at all. But over here on the on the um, rocker panel. That's all rock guarded and is really sealed up there very well. So I'm quite pleased by that. Maybe I'll... In places like this that's not done at all so I'll do that. Um, careful not to get any on the exhaust however and to keep it away from the exhaust as best you can. But you can't have too much rust proofing. This is up and under where the... Oh, where I put that trailer hitch in, I guess. Those rear frame rails, I'm going to get in around those really well. And all these places. Side of the gas can, or side of the uh, spare tire well and that kind of thing. So... That's what it looks like under a 2012 Volkswagen Golf TDI station wagon. And I'm not going to spray too much that heat shielding around the exhaust, I'll just leave that. And I'm not going to spray too close to that. But, anyways, there you have it. tour of the underneath, in case you're wondering. Well that's it. It's all back together and gooey. It really didn't take very long. And I'm very pleased to have that done. It took, let's see, a little bit, not a whole can, of the uh, interior frame rail um, spray. And it took three cans, and maybe that's a little overkill, but anyways, it took three cans of the other stuff, the green stuff, the general waxy stuff. Anyways, I hope that keeps this car on the road for a very long time. Alright, bye for now.